Hi there, everyone. Um, I'm not there with you today, but uh, I'd like to show you uh, what we're going to do to wrap up to um, process our pictures so we can print them. Um, so I've opened up here on my desktop a uh, picture that I've been working on, and uh, what I'd like to do is I need to save it by as an 8x10. And when we take pictures in our camera, depending on the resolution that we take them with, uh, we actually want to save them. Uh, they may not actually be set up as 8x10. Uh, so we're going to look at a couple of things and um, just a few processes. Very simple. Uh, once you've finished doing all the work on your photo, uh, that we want to actually crop it to an 8x10. Uh, so we can print that. Now we're either going to crop it to 8x10 uh, if it's a portrait or we're going to crop it to uh, 10x8 if it's landscape. So what we need to do is on the left hand side over here uh, we are going to find our cropping tool okay, it's the fourth one down and what I'd like you to do is just click on that cropping tool and uh, you can see that it opens up uh, our tool has some information here at the top so what we're going to do it may come up as unconstrained or it may not depending on who the last person was that used the uh, computer that you're working on so what we're going to do is click on that and we are going to set it to uh, 8 by 10. Uh, it says 4 by 5 or 8 by 10. So we're going to click on that. And you can see now it set up a, a crop around my, uh, or an area or a selection around my image. So um, depending on what you'd like to do, whether you want to have it landscape uh, or that you want to have a portrait, uh, I can either change the numbers up here, okay, uh, in the upper left hand corner or if I just click on this circle it's going to rotate between crop uh, sorry between portrait and uh, landscape okay so I want you to decide how you want your picture to be best viewed and uh, you can set it that way don't worry that it says only 4 by 5 um, the ratio is still the same as 8 by 10 okay the other thing that you can do is move your picture inside uh, and again we don't want to have any of that red showing because the area inside these boxes uh, is what's going to print. So we can set it again using our rule of thirds if we want. Uh, and then you can see what my image will look like if it is cropped that way. Okay. Once I get the image the way that I want it, uh, I'm going to go over and click on the checkbox, a little check mark here on the right hand corner. And uh, click that and it's going to now crop my picture. Now I've said that I want to delete the crop pixels, that's fine. Um, I can always undo that okay, and um, go back. Okay, But if I, uh, or sorry, if I go over here to edit, I can undo my crop and it's going to bring my picture back. So if we do that again, simply uh, I go select 4x5. Okay, I can move my image behind so I can set up where I want it to be. I'm going to use rule of thirds and uh, then I can select to, and don't worry about this delete crop pixels uh, because basically what that does is it makes our file size a little bit smaller. So now I have my cropped image. What I need to do is now save that um, for processing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to image and I'd like you to go to uh, image size. Okay. And under image size, you can see it's huge. This is a massive, massive image. So what I'm going to do, my resolution is actually set very, very low. So what I'd like to do, I'm going to set my width as 10 inches. And I'm going, it automatically should change that to uh, 10 by 8. And I like to change my resolution to 300. Okay, now it's going to make my file size rather large. Um, but when, and that's okay, um, because um, it's going to print it better, okay? So that basically means we have more pixels in there. Uh, it shouldn't be blurry when we print it, okay? So I'm going to click OK, and uh, it's processing my image, and now I just go File, Save As, Okay, it brings up a little box for us. I'm going to say, I'm going to change the file name. So I'm going to say Adrian Sled, Adrian Sledding, J 
JPEG and I want to save it as a format as a JPEG. I don't have to worry about anything else. Just a regular JPEG is fine. Click Save. And when it asks me, how do I want the quality of this uh, to be? I'm going to say this is a large file. So I want my quality to be, uh, my quality to be maxed out. Okay, Make it as large as you possibly can. We're going to get the best image to print then. Okay, click OK. And uh, that should be saved. Um, now what I'd like you to do is then uh, take that image, upload it to your OneDrive, and uh, put it up in your OneDrive, then share it with me. Okay, so share the JPEG with me, and I should be able to pull that and uh, have them printed for you. Have a wonderful weekend, and uh, we'll see you when I get back.